welcome. My name is Shanine. I am the current senior druid of the Three Cranes Grove of the International Arianacht Fein Order of Druidry. And I would like to take this moment for all of us to welcome all of you to the sixth iteration of the Druid service here at the Dublin Irish Festival. We welcome everyone, every race, every nation, every creed, every political organization, every sexual orientation, every gender identification. We welcome everyone. A couple of things before we begin. First, if you have an electronic device and it is not keeping you alive, please <laughs> take a moment and either silence it or turn it off, okay? Secondly, in this ritual, we do not close the circle. We will be blessing the borders and hallowing the borders, but we do not seal them. So if you feel the need to leave for any reason, just please do so quietly and quickly. Uh, third, we do not pass the plate during the course of our ritual. However, we are fully in support of the Dublin Irish Festival's uh, food drive. I don't know if you were aware of this, but they are raising foods for the Dublin Food Pantry. They're accepting both canned goods and monetary donations. So please give generously after the ritual. See one of the people dressed in white. We will have baskets and you may bring of your treasure. Please give generously. Um, there are people out there that are hungry and we can help alleviate that. We as Druids believe that wealth fairly and generously shared is wealth increased and hospitality for, is for us a virtue. So with that, please settle in, prepare your hearts, and we will begin. We approach the sacred grove with hearts and minds and flesh and bone. Join us now in ways of old, we have come home. We approach the sacred grove with hearts and minds and flesh and bone. Join us now in ways of old, we have come home. We approach the sacred grove with hearts and minds and flesh and bone. Join us now in ways of old, we have come home. We approach the sacred grove with hearts and minds and flesh and bone. Join us now in ways of old, we have come home. I call out now to the outdwellers. I call out to those of this realm, those that could disrupt our right physically, leave us be. I call out to the trickster gods and goddesses, those that like to make fun of us mortals, leave us be. I call out to those of the spirit realm, the ancestors, those of the blood, those of our past that have not accepted the choice of our faith, leave us be. I also call out to that which is within our hearts, anger, jealousy, bitterness. There's no place for that here. Please leave that at the gate. Outdwellers, I give you this gift, this offering, to leave us in peace, to not disrupt the energy of our right, to let us leave as one community. Outdwellers, accept our offering. Outdwellers, accept our offering. By the might of the, the waters and, and the light, light of the, of the fire, fire, this grove is, is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. 
by the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. Children of Earth, welcome to our festival. Let us begin as we often do with an opening prayer, an opening set of prayers. The spirits of the sky are above us. The spirits of the land surround us. The spirits of the waters flow below us. Surrounded now by all of the numinous beings of sky, of land, of waters, our hearts tied as one. Let us pray with a good fire. And let us honor the earth, as we always do. Children of the earth, it is fitting that first we begin by honoring the earth mother, the all mother, our mother. You from whom we have all emerged, you who sustain us in this life. You to whom, in the fullness of time, our bones will return. Earth Mother, we honor you best when we walk in balance. We honor you best when we make our footprints light upon you. Earth Mother, we honor you best when we become your true champions. Ancient Mother, ignite your spark within us that we may know ourselves to be truly human, truly holy, and truly part of the web of life. Earth Mother, accept our offering. Earth Mother, accept our offering. And let us call for inspiration. The children of the earth call out to Oma. Sunny-faced one, your brilliant rays shine down upon us this morning. We ask now that you alight upon us. Lend your honeyed words to us. As your silver chain travels from your tongue to our ears, might we speak with the eloquence that you give us. Oma, meet us at the boundaries. Join us at our sacred fire and be warmed at our hearth. Guide us and aid us as we walk these elder ways. Oma, Accept our offering. As our ancestors did before us, so we do now. And so may our children do in the future. We come together at this gathering of tribes to honor Lou of the long arm. He who was born by his foster mother, Telcha. He who came to the door. He who sat upon the king's throne. We remember today the second battle of Moitoira, the one that provided the land to the Tuatha Dei and brought it forth that we might one day walk upon it. General of Earth, today we will honor the ancestors, those of our blood, those of our heart, those of our mind. Whether we call ourselves Irish, Celtic, or some mutt of some other descent, all of these are welcome here. I am one of those mutts myself. <laughs> we will call also to the spirits of nature who surround us, whose voices you hear in the trees, those who've let us use this space at this time. And we will call to the shining ones, the gods and goddesses, bright ones, first children of the mother, 
those who showed us the way to walk so many years ago. Children of Earth, is it your will to do this work today? It is. Then let us make our offerings with joy and with reverence. Let us begin by making this space sacred. By fire and by water, between the earth and sky, we stand like the world tree rooted deep, crowned high. Come we now to the well, the eye and the mouth of earth. Come we now to the well, and silver we bring. Come we now to the well, the waters of rebirth. Come we now to the well, together we sing. By fire and by water, between the earth and sky, we stand like the world tree rooted deep, crowned high. We will kindle a fire, bless all and with harm to none. We will kindle a fire, and offer and pour. We will kindle a fire, a light neath the moon and sun. We will kindle a fire, our spirits will soar. By fire and by water, between the earth and sky, we stand like the world tree rooted deep, crowned high. Gather we at the tree, the root and the crown of all. Gather we at the tree, below and above. Gather we at the tree, together we make our call. Gather we at the tree, in wisdom and love. By fire and by water, between the earth and sky, we stand like the world tree rooted deep. Crown high. Upon this altar sits a flame that reaches to the heavens. Upon this altar sits a well that reaches into the earth. And upon this altar, a pillar that represents the tree that spans all worlds. We have made this space sacred. Let us attune ourselves to it. Close your eyes and relax into place. You find yourself at the edge of a vast forest. You see an opening into the greenery. You take the path that enters the woods. You wind your way through the trees. You feel welcome and at peace here. You come across a grassy meadow. You join the others gathered in this holy place. Let your feet be planted firmly. Feel yourself take root here. Let your roots extend downward. Feel the cool magnetic waters. Let the waters flow into your body. Feel the sustaining earth power. Let the waters fill the cauldron of your loins. Feel the waters ground you deep. Let the waters fill the cauldron of your heart. Feel the waters course through you. Let the waters fill the cauldron of your head. Feel the waters rise and overflow you. The waters, waters flow, flow within, within us all. all. Let your mind soar into the stars. Feel yourself branching out. Let your branches extend upward. Feel the warm electric fire. Let the fire grow within your body. Feel the energizing sky power. Let the fire ignite the cauldron of your soul. Feel the cr fire crown you high. Let the fire ignite the cauldron of your heart. Feel the fire surge through you. Let the fire ignite the cauldron of your loins. Feel the fire spark and center you. The fire, the fire grows, grows within, within us all. all. Look, Look around, around you now. now. We are connected through the waters. We become one within the well. We are connected through the flames. We become one within the fire. We are connected through the center. We become one within the tree. We are one, one sacred, sacred grove. grove. And together we pray. The waters, waters support and surround us. us. The, the land extends about us. The sky stretches out above us. At our, our center burns a living flame. May all the kindred bless us. May our worship be true. May our actions be just. May our love be pure. 
blessings, honor, and worship to the Holy Ones. So be it. Children of Earth, be brightened by the knowledge that you here are part of this sacred center. That the tree that stands here straightens your back. The well flows within you. The fire is the fire in your head. So attuned, so placed in this sacred space. It's time now to call out to a gatekeeper to walk the ways with us. Children of Earth, take a moment and breathe deep. Find that center that you have just encountered, the place where the fire, the well, and the tree meet. Close your eyes for a moment and breathe in it. At the root of the tree, the fire burns in the waters and flowing forth comes the mist of magic. Let those mists, gray and colorless yet full of color, bright and shining yet muted, formless yet with shapes that arise and dissipate, let that mist surround you. Let it reach to the edges of the tent let it extend past. And here at your center, with the mist at the reaches, at the edges, let it begin to clear for you. And as it does, watch it pull back. Watch it draw forth the edge of the waters, the cosmic waters where the land ends. And there, beyond the ninth wave, riding upon a boat, his old hand holding to the rudder, stands a man, gray bearded, eyes blue and bright, yet flecked with the sea. This is Mananon MacLear, keeper of the crane bag, Lord of magic, Lord of the sea. Today he will walk with us. He will cast his cloak about our shoulders as we walk. He will stand with us that we may not get lost on our path here at the center. Breathe deep and hold him in your mind's eye. See his eye upon you. And join me in your heart as we welcome him. Mananon MacLear, keeper of the crane bag, foster father of Lou Lomfada, Lou of the long arm. We call to you today. We know that you hold us close. We know that we are brightened by you. Guide us and ward us as we walk the ways be with us. Show us the magic that we need. Mananon MacLear, we, your children, call out to you, and we say, Mananon MacLear, accept our offering. Mananon MacLear, accept our offering. And now we ask for that first piece of magic. We ask for the voice to open the well, we ask for the light to open the flame, we ask for the nourishment to open the tree and the ways. Mananon MacLear, we call to you. Here before us is a vessel of water. This vessel reaches into the underworld and draws up from below the voice of our ancestors. It draws the light of the shining gods and goddesses of the underworld. Eye and mouth of earth, we call to you. Rise up from the earth. 
draw the waters from the far edges to here, and let the well open as a gate. Here upon the altar, a flame that burns, fire kindled upon the land, born in the waters, and with a pillar of smoke that supports the heavens. The fire of sacrifice, the place of offering. Let it brighten each of us. Let it fill your hearts and minds. Mananon, we call to you. Let this flame, with its nine tongues, brighten each of us. Fire, sacrifice, and blessing. The two hinged way, we call to you, and let the fire open as a gate. And now this pillar upon our altar, it straightens us as we are it, and it is us. See in your mind's eye its branches as they rise to the heavens. See them as they support the worlds. See its roots reach deep into the underworld. See it reach out to touch all other trees. Mononon McLear, we call to you. Straighten us as this tree is straightened. Let our voices ring through it. And let this tree open as a gate. Mononon McLear, we call to you. These three centers sanctified our voices to be drawn up in praise. Mononon McLear, let the gates be open. Let the gates be open. See in your mind's eye the well reaching to the earth, the flame reaching to the heavens, and the tree spanning all worlds. We've done good work here. Let us invite the kindreds to be where we are now. Children of Earth call out to the ancestors, those of our heart and of our blood. May their hands be resting on our shoulders, their voices joined with ours singing as one people. May we honor their memories and their wisdom, for they remind us of their love. Ancestors, meet us at the boundaries, join us at our right, and be warmed by our good fire. Ancestors, accept our offering. Ancestors, accept our offering. See now in your mind's eye those ancestors step forth to the fire and join us here at this sacred center in our right as we now call to the nature spirits. The children of Earth call out to the nature spirits. Nature spirits, you of motion, you who run, crawl, fly, and swim. Children of Earth call out to the spirits of place, you trees, you rocks, you plants. The children of Earth call out to the spirits of the mound, cousins of the greater gods, mightiest spirits in the mid-realm. And children of Earth call out to the, our spirit aids, you who aid us in our magics. Let us renew the old treaty and let there be peace between us. Meet us at the boundaries. Come and be warmed by our good fire. Aid and guide us as we walk the elder ways. Nature spirits, accept our offering. Nature spirits, accept our offering. See now in your mind's eye those spirits of nature with their alien eyes stepping into the light of the fire to join us here so that they might join us in our right and as we now call to the shining gods and goddesses. 
the children of the earth call out to the shining ones. First children of earth, you who inspired and sustained our ancestors, you who shape our paths and influence our lives, you who walk the realms, come to our fire, shining ones, meet us at the boundaries, join us at our sacred hearth, and be warmed by our good fire. Aid us and guide us as we walk the elder ways. Shining ones, accept our offering. Shining ones, accept our offering. And see now in your mind's eye those shining gods and goddesses stepping into the light of the fire, shining their wisdom and their love upon us as we now call to the deity of the occasion of this rite. Blessed Lou, shining God of light, we call out to you to give you honor and sing praises to your names. Lou Lamfada, long arm, long hand, protector of the folk and the bounty of the land. Lou Lambaumnik, fierce striker, sword shouter, slayer of foes and wielder of bolt lightning. Lou Samaldanik, master of all skill and art, wise counselor and harbinger of insight. We are ever grateful for the blessings you bestow. Mighty Lou, you are the carpenter, cupbearer, and king, the sorcerer, swordsman, and slayer, the historian, harper, and hero. You light our way through the darkness. You protect us through all of life's trials. We honor your foster mother's sacrifice and ask that you grant us a harvest of plenty. We laud your deft skill and fine wisdom and ask that you illuminate the path we take. We praise you as the warrior king and ask that you help us to prevail in all things. Bright shining Lou, meet us at the boundaries, join us at our sacred hearth and be warmed by our good fire. Guide us and aid us as we walk the elder ways. Lou, accept our offering. Lou, accept our offering. And see now as Lou, the warrior king joins us at this rite. And let us hear the story of how he gained that name. Children of Earth, we don't just pour out offerings sometimes. We speak praise as well. And while most of our rites have a section for praise offerings, this one does not. And so I speak this on behalf of the folk and tell the story of Lou and Baylor. Children of Earth, if you have been with us for the last two years, you have heard two stories of Lou. The first of his foster mother, Telcha, clearing the land after the first battle of Moitoira for the folk and giving her own life in the process. The second of the coming of Lou to the door of Tara, where he impressed the ancient gods and goddesses with his many skills, and he was admitted among them. Today, we tell the story of the Second Battle of Moitoira, where the Fomorians and the Tuatha Dé Danann battled for Ireland, and the role that Lu played in it. There was a king of the Fomorians, a race of giants who came from the land itself, by the name of Baelor. This king, it is said, had but one eye, and it was set into the center of his forehead. If he opened his eye and gazed upon you, you would surely die right then and there. But his eye was so large that it took four men with sticks to open the lid so that it could, always, so it could not always be open. Because of Lu's great skill, King Nuava believed that Lu might help the Tuatha Dé from the Fomorians once and for all. And so, over the years, he and Lu prepared the armies, forged the weapons, and sang songs of valor to the host. But when time came to do battle, neither the Fomorians nor the Tuatha Dé sent their kings or chiefs for fear that they might fall in battle. The Tuatha Dé, in particular, feared that Lu might fall upon that field. They found him to be too valuable to lose because of those great skills. And so they decided that he should not come to battle, but stay home instead. Knowing Lu's desire to fight, he was guarded by nine champions of the Tuatha Dé. And so it came to pass 
that the armies of the Fomorians and the Tuatsudei met on the plain of Moitoira, with no kings and no champions. For weeks did the battle rage between the men of the Fomorians and the men of the Tuatsudei, and it was the Tuatsudei who had the upper hand. For while the Fomorians' spears and swords were blunted with use, the Tuatsudei's were sharpened each night by Goibnu, the smith of the gods. And while each day men died, Dianket would soak the men of, tu of the Tuata in a spring, and they would be revived to fight again. The Fomorians, upon hearing these things, sent men to end this advantage. The smith was wounded, and the spring was filled with stones. And the next day, the Fomorians drew up their ranks with their kings, and the battle that day was different. For with their kings before them, the Fomorians were indestructible. That day is known to the Tuata by three names. The first was striking a head against a cliff. The second was a hand in the serpent's nest. And the third was a face brought close to the fire. With the kings of the Fomorians in the battle, the champions of the Tuatha Dei joined as well, leaving a guard to ensure that Lu remained safe. But Lu, hearing the cries of battle, escaped his guard, for he is many skilled. And before the armies had joined, he arrived on the front lines in a bright war chariot. There, he closed one eye, stood upon one foot, pointed one finger at the Fomorians, and chanted a spell that foretold their doom. And lo, the battle joined, and men and women died. Nuada, the king of the Tuatha Dei, was killed when Baylor's baleful eye was cast upon him. Maka, lady of horses, was killed the same way. But Lu, in his shining chariot, came and bellowed a challenge to Baylor that was heard above the din of the battle. Baylor spoke to his four men, lift up my eyelid that I may see this talkative fellow who is so boastful to me. And as his eye was lifted, Lu fitted a simple stone into a sling. With sure aim and a steady hand, he threw the stone just as Baylor's gaze was about to encompass him. The stone smashed through the giant's eye, pushed it through the back of his head, and it gazed out upon the host of the Fomorian instead of on the Tuatha Dei, and killed them all. Ireland was now won for the ancient gods and goddesses of our folk. Lu, now king of the Tuatha Dei, would rule for 40 years over a peaceful Ireland. And we, the children of the earth, will remember their stories forever. Hail to the kindreds all. May they walk in our hearts and in our memories. This is the story of Lu and how he became king. Let us all remember it. Children of Earth, we come to the hinge of our right, where we have made offerings, and now we prepare to ask in turn. But before we do, it is right that we should make this prayer of sacrifice. Lu Lamfada, you of the long arm, ancestors, those of our blood and heart, Nature spirits who let us walk here. Gods and goddesses who won the land for us. We call to you today. We have made offerings. And we, as we pour forth this last one, send them through these gates three. To reach the high heavens and the deep roots of the tree 
to be carried to the heavens upon the pillar of smoke, to reach to the deep earth where the waters flow. And we call out with one voice, Kindreds all, accept our sacrifice. Kindreds all, accept our sacrifice. Let our voices arise on the fire. Let our voices resound in the deep. May the spirits accept what we offer as we honor the old ways we keep. Let our voices arise on the fire. Let our voices resound in the deep. May the spirits accept what we offer as we honor the old ways we keep. Let our voices arise on the fire. Let our voices resound in the deep. May the spirits accept what we offer as we honor the old ways we keep. Once again, Trum of Earth, feel that center. For it is from that center that we take our omen. Children of the Earth, we have offered and we have honored now we turn our hearts inward and ask for the blessing of the kindreds. From the center of our sacred grove, gazing across the well of memory, first we ask, what blessing do the ancestors hold for us this day? Appropriately enough, they call us to Look at, explore, and utilize the wisdom they have given us. Ancestral wisdom. Children of the earth, from the center of our sacred grove, standing before the great tree, we ask, what blessing do the spirits of nature hold for us this day? Spirits of nature, Remind us to be inspired by nature itself and give us inspiration. And finally, we ask before our great, our great and brilliant fire, standing at the center of this sacred grove, what blessing do the goddesses and gods hold for us this day? Gods and goddesses give us strength and fairness and remind us that strength must be tempered by justice. And so we have ancestral wisdom as a blessing, inspiration as a blessing, and strength, justice, and firmness as a blessing. Children of the earth, these are indeed good omens. Children of earth, do you accept these omens? We do. Then let us prepare to pour forth blessings and partake of them ourselves. <sighs> Children of Earth, think hard upon these omens. Ancestral wisdom. Inspiration. Strength and firmness. These are omens that we can use in our daily lives. And that is the beauty of the work that we do. It gives us homework. In your mind's eye, consider these blessings. Think of how they can help you. These blessings of ancestral wisdom, these blessings of inspiration, and these blessings of strength and firmness. Consider them carefully. Know how they can play out in your lives. How can you display these as virtues and how can you dig deeper into them to bring them out in yourself? Consider too, 
We hear our grove, the folk together in this tent, those within the range of my voice. All of us can benefit from these three blessings. Blessings of ancestral wisdom, blessings of inspiration, blessings of strength. Think of how you can share them with one another, the person sitting next to you, the person who you haven't met yet today, family members, all those that walk in your circles. How can you share these blessings with them? And think, too, on how these blessings affect the world. For our rights do not only affect the here and now in this space, they affect all things. We stand at the center of the cosmos. Think on how the world can benefit from ancestral wisdom, from inspiration, and from strength. As we pour out these waters, they strengthen all of us, for all waters nourish all things. All waters are by their very nature sacred. And we draw forth these waters that have been set aside for this work. See these waters as they brighten. Remember those blessings. Know that they flow across the land to arrive here, from the far reaches to the close springs. Know that they well up from below, that they come from the earth herself from her bosom, and know that they rain from the heavens. Children of earth, see these blessings and see these waters brightened by them. These children of earth are the waters that receive those blessings as they flow. These are the waters that will be filled with ancestral wisdom. These are the waters that will be filled with inspiration. And these are the waters that will be filled with strength for all of us and all the world. From the well of wisdom, from the cauldron of rebirth, all the waters and all the lands we call to you. Shining ones, give us the waters. Shining ones, give us the waters. See the waters flow up from below, flow across the land, flow down from the heavens. Shining ones, give us the waters. Shining ones, give us the waters. Brightened in the kindred's blessings, lifted high that the light may shine upon us. Shining ones, give us the waters. Shining ones, give us the waters. Filled now with these blessings, of ancestral wisdom, of inspiration and strength, these waters are made sacred. Children of Earth, behold the waters of life. The waters of life. Children of Earth, behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. Children of Earth, behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. As we pour out these waters into these two vessels, and as these waters flow from the space of offering to the folk, feel those blessings rain down upon you as these waters do as well.
Dublin will learn that our rights come with the splash zone, and they'll put it in the program. <laughs> Children of Earth, feel those waters course through you. Feel them still upon your skin. Know that they brighten us, and know that this work comes with responsibility for great blessings require us to offer back. We do not pass our plate in the, uh, in the right, as Shaneen mentioned, just before the, the ritual. We collect afterwards, because today we are collecting for the Dublin Food Pantry. And so, with the uh, blessings that you have received, please continue to pay them forward. There are many people in need. One of us will be standing around. We're pretty easy to pick out, we're all in white. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have baskets. Um, please do uh, make a donation. If you have checks, make them payable to the Dublin Food Pantry, um, not to us. We appreciate that. Um, I do need to mention a couple of minor announcements before we finish up. We've got breakfast vendors uh, available, so after the service, Please go find some breakfast. Uh, there's some very delicious things to be had. Um, there are traditional Irish breakfasts and traditional American breakfasts all over the place. Um, once again, children of Earth, breathe deep and find that center. For we have done good work today. We have been brightly blessed and we should carry those blessings forth. 
whether you are Irish, part Irish, not Irish at all, again, like me, <laughs> know that the work that we do is good and right. Be joyful in it, be brightened by it, for work is its reward, generosity is wealth. And now, let us thank all those that we called today. Lou Lamfada, Lou of the Long Arm. You whose story we have told today, we call to you and we say, we thank you. We thank you. Shining gods and goddesses, you who have shone down your light and your wisdom and your blessings upon us, we say, shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. Spirits of this place, may we walk lighter and leave it nicer than we found it, which is a tough call, but we'll try. Spirits of nature, we thank you. Spirits of nature, we thank you. Ancestors, mighty dead, beloved dead, you who have walked this path before us and who we continue to follow those ways, we say, ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. To all the powers that evaded us, known or unknown, we call out and we say, we thank you. And to the gatekeeper, Mananon MacLear, once again, children of Earth, one final time, seek that center, conjure up that image of the old man of the sea with his hand upon the rudder. He who has guided us through these mists, who has kept us safe at the center. Mananon MacLear, keeper of the crane bag, we say, we thank you. Thank you. And one final thing we ask of you, Mananon. Let this tree be but the pillar that sits upon the altar. Let its branches come down, let its roots come up, and let it be but a post. Let this fire that has burned bright and supported the heavens with its pillar of smoke be once again a candle flame. And let this well that has been the eye and the mouth of earth once again, be merely a vessel of water upon our altar. Let all be as it was before, save the blessings that we have received. Mananon MacLear, let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. And as we called out to you, Oma, to inspire us, to fill us with your song and your honeyed words, for doing so today, and for continuing to do so in our lives, we say, Oma, we thank you. Oma, we thank you. And to the Earth Mother, we stand upon you, and we offer to you all that we leave unused upon this altar, for we know that you give back to us in spades. Earth Mother, for supporting us in this rite, for being here with us, we call out and we say, Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. Children of Earth, once again, we are Three Cranes Grove ADF, your local friendly Druid Grove. We do invite you out to our next rite, which is our Autumnal Equinox rite. Please do feel free to come. Our webpage is threecranes.org. Um, please do visit, drop us a line, find us on Facebook, like us. Uh, a number of us will be hanging out, I'm sure, over at the Magical Druid, which is just across the way. Um, there is a, a vending shop over there. I will be there for most of the rest of the day. Please do feel free to find one of us in whites if you have questions, and especially if you have donations for those in need. Thank you all for coming. May you walk with wisdom and in peace and blessings. Walk with wisdom from this hallowed place. Walk not in sorrow, our roots shall e'er embrace. May strength be your brother, and honor be your friend. And luck be a lover, until we meet again. Thank you all.